There aren't many games that took advantage of the infrared sensor on the Game Boy Color, but interestingly enough, Mission Impossible does. Inside of the game's menu, you'll have two options, to either play game or go over to the Agent Organizer. The Agent Organizer had a bunch of features that would allow you to feel like a spy if you were a kid in the 90s. So we have our secret files, which allowed you to store addresses, messages, and even link up to other Game Boys. Nowadays, that wouldn't seem like a big deal, but that would be quite fun in the 90s. Along with secret files, there was also a calculator option. We had a receive transmission option that would work with those secret files there. We could also reset the database and feel like a true hacker, but the feature we will be focusing on today is the remote control option. Inside of the remote control feature, you'll find a few options to either link up to TV, VCR, satellite dish, or even digital receiver. But for the purpose of this video, they all work the same. So to use this, all you'll need is your remote control handy dandy by you. You'll pick the button you want to set. I will start with the A button. So once it's blinking, we'll need to grab our remote control and the option we'll set it to right now is power. It'll stop blinking and we know we set it. Let's also set a few things up like um volume control we'll go left for down and right for up just keep doing it until it stops blinking there we go and let's go test it out so now that we're over at our tv we'll hit select this time go down to send signal and let's hit a for power see that red light down there sure enough it turns on just listen to that crt squeal let's test out the volume options all right, that's awesome. It worked perfectly. Nintendo's history is full of untapped potential. It almost seems like a console is canceled before it's fully realized. Let's go test this out on a few other things. I've also been asked if this works on more modern TVs and if your remote uses infrared technology as it should, it will work. I got this cheap set of LED light strips that came with the remote. Let's see if I can cycle through the colors with my Game Boy Color. Okay, that's not working. Maybe someone could let me know down in the comments why this one won't work. It'll allow me to set it up, but it won't let me change through the actual colors. So interestingly enough, by trying a few other remotes, I actually got this to work. There's probably a lot that you can do with this. Let me know down in the comments what you figure out. In conclusion, Mission Impossible is definitely not a game I ran out to buy as a kid, but finding out about its utility as an adult is quite interesting. There are so many facts like this throughout Nintendo's history, and I want to know a lot of them. Alright guys, so let me know down in the comments anything you want to see me try with this next. I can think of a few things, but I want to hear what you guys come up with.